Hello, you're watching Israel Daily on ILTV. I'm Gabrielle Weiniger. Coming up on today's program, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken visits Ramallah amid high tensions and violence between Israelis and Palestinians. The U.S. Embassy says Israelis are one step closer to a visa waiver, but hurdles remain. And coming up, the place where Jesus walked on water gets a refill. Today's top story, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken continued his visit to the region, holding talks in Jerusalem with President Herzog and Prime Minister Netanyahu before heading to meet Palestinian Authority leader Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah. Talks with Israeli leaders focused on Iran and lowering tensions in Israel-Palestine, with public announcements by Blinken regarding proposed Israeli judicial reform. ILTV's Steve Leibowitz reports. Prime Minister Netanyahu met Blinken to coordinate steps between Washington and Jerusalem to confront the aggression and nuclearization of Iran. Public comments by Blinken touched on U.S. concerns over Israel's proposed judicial shakeup and the current wave of violence between Israel and the Palestinians. And I think there's a common consensus that this regime must not acquire nuclear weapons. Uh, we've had very good discussions on uh, forging a common policy on trying to work together to thwart the danger. Throughout uh, the relationship between our countries, uh, what we come back to time and again is that it is rooted both in shared interests and in shared values. That includes our support for core democratic principles and institutions, including respect for human rights, the equal administration of justice for all, the equal rights of minority groups, the rule of law, free press, a robust civil society. And the vibrancy of Israel's civil society has been on full display. After meeting Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, Blinken spoke about preventing Iranian nuclearization and condemned Tehran's provision of deadly drones to Russia. Cohen spoke of his upcoming visit to Kiev. We'll continue to work together to confront and counter the dangerous and destabilizing influence of Iran. Uh, as President Biden has made clear, the United States is committed to preventing Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. Iran is a threat not only to Israel and the region, but increasingly. Uh, to the world, as we've seen recently in its provision of drones to Russia to prosecute its war of aggression in Ukraine. A few days ago, I spoke with my counterpart in Ukraine, Foreign Minister Kuleba, and informed him that the coming weeks, the Israeli embassy in Kiev will return to full activity. I also informed him on my plan to visit Kiev to be the first minister from the Middle East to visit Kiev in the near future. Meeting President Herzog, Blinken emphasized democratic values shared by the two countries and thanked the president for his commitment. The United States of America is our closest ally. Our bonds with the United States are extremely strong. I would say even transcends politics and times, simply something that is deeply psychological and emotional. When I would simply say how much we appreciate, Mr. President, your leadership, uh, the clarity of your voice when it comes to working to de-escalate uh, tensions uh, here among communities, the uh, clarity of your voice when it comes to finding a, a good way forward that builds consensus uh, on the question of uh, judicial reform. Before heading to Ramallah to meet PA leader Mahmoud Abbas, Blinken cautioned Israel and the Palestinians of ending the current wave of violence. It's incumbent on all parties to take urgent steps to de-escalate tensions, establish conditions for the security and stability that both Israelis and Palestinians uh, deserve. As I discussed with uh, both the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister, uh, we'll uh, do the same with uh, President Abbas. Uh, the United States stands ready to support the parties in this vital effort. To discuss all that, we're joined by an expert on U.S.-Israel relations, Professor of International Communication, Eitan Gilboa. Professor Gilboa, thank you so much for joining us today. Happy to be with you. Let's start with the Secretary of State's visit to Ramallah. It comes amid high tensions and rather unprecedented violence. What can we expect to come out of his visit today there? 
Not much, uh, simply because uh, Mahmoud Abbas and the Palestinian, Palestinian Authority uh, have been extremely weak. Uh, one of the problems uh, in, in Janin uh, that forced on Israel to take uh, limited military operations against uh, groups of terrorists has been the lack of control, uh, lack of responsibility by the Palestinian Authority uh, in Janin and to, uh, to a lesser extent uh, at Nablus. Um, I think uh, Blinken uh, uh, told uh, Mahmoud Abbas that, number one, he has to restore full security cooperation with Israel. Uh, he and his people suspended part of it uh, after the uh, after the operation, the last operation in in uh, Janine. and he will uh, he also uh, uh, promise he will be also promising Mahmoud Abbas to help uh, strengthen uh, the Palestinian Authority because in American eyes. This is a key for reducing terrorism and increasing stability. You say not much, but does the UK, US still care about the Palestinians? We had 35 Palestinians killed this month, most of them militants, but eight of them children. Um, what do you say about that? So, uh, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a tragedy of, of the region here. Um, apparently, uh, Apparently, there is not much uh, chance right now for negotiations and an agreement. The Biden administration uh, understands that. On the other hand, they, st they still are emphasizing time and again uh, the two-state solution as the only solution uh, or ultimate solution for the conflict. And they want to make sure that um, no, no unilateral actions um, are implemented or taken to jeopardize uh, that potential solution in the future. So this is uh, primarily a message to Israel. Yeah, like you said, we really didn't hear anything new when Blinken was here in Israel last week. Um, a reiteration for support of the two-state solution, a commitment to Israel. Is the US likely to change course at any point? I didn't hear you the last uh, um, sentence. It, yes, it is, is the US likely to change course at any point on, on this, on the two-state solution and on their current stance? No, this is what I've just said. Uh, there's, there's, there's no uh, chance right now uh, to move on, on, a, on a final status solution. But the United States uh, is uh, very much concerned about uh, the rise in violence and wants uh, both Israel and the Palestinian Authority to take effective measures to reduce the tension and the violence. Israel has a new government, including a convicted racist, how is this impacting U.S.-Israel relations? The United States is also concerned about the judicial uh, reform or, uh, or revolution. Uh, Secretary Blinken emphasized that um, uh, in, in his um, talks uh, with, um, with Netanyahu. Uh, three weeks ago, uh, this uh, was not a major issue. Uh, but um, there were all kinds of developments that, um, in a way, forced the United States uh, to talk about it. Uh, number one, uh, the scope and the pace of uh, legislation. Uh, number two, uh, the demonstrations, the huge demonstrations in Israel. And number three, all kinds of appeals coming from Jewish leaders in the United States as well as uh, uh, congressmen, even pro-Israeli uh, congressmen. Uh, and um, the United States um, wanted to make sure uh, that, um, that uh, the final legislation uh, would uh, take into consideration the American reservations about, uh, about certain elements uh, in the plan. And let's just have a last brief comment. How significant is this visit by the Secretary of State to Israel at this moment in time? It is, it is important. Uh, first, I need to mention that uh, this is like the third visit of a top U.S. Uh, foreign policy official. About uh, just 10 days ago, Jack Sullivan was here, a national security advisor to Biden. Then the head of the CIA came here, uh, uh, Bill Burns. So um, and, uh, Tony Blinken is the third high echelon person. And uh, the meeting is important because of the, e of the most important issue in American-Israeli relations, uh, which was mentioned earlier, and that is Iran. 
for the first time in 13 years, in 10 years, in 10 years, uh, there is much agreement between the United States and Israel, both on the goal of uh, the policy towards Iran, as well as the means to achieve that goal. Israel and the United States um, have always agreed that Iran should be prevented from becoming a nuclear power. Uh, there, there were uh, disagreements about the best ways to achieve that goal. And it seems that right now, there is much agreement that uh, uh, negotiations and a nuclear deal are out of, uh, out of, the, uh, out of reach. And therefore, the two sides are now uh, uh, formulating a new policy uh, that, uh, that would achieve that goal of preventing Iran from becoming a nuclear power. Yes, agreement and a new policy on Iran. Professor Eitan Gilboa, stay with us. We're coming back to you later in the show.